Hey everyone, my name is Sandeep and today I will be discussing lead code problem 3148, maximum difference score in a grid from the weekly contest 397. So in this problem, you are given an M cross N matrix consisting of positive integers. So you are given a matrix of size M cross N and it only contains positive integers. Next, you can move from one cell to another that is either to the bottom or to the right, not necessarily adjacent. That means, let's say, this is my current cell, so I can move to any cell to the right. You can, we can move from this to this or this or this because all these three cells are to the right of the current cell. Or also I can move from this cell to this cell or I can move from this cell to this or even to this because for this current cell, all these cells are to the bottom of this. So for a particular cell, I can move to any cell to the right or any cell to the bottom. The score to move from cell C1 to cell C2 is C2 minus C1. That means if I jump from this particular cell, let's say this particular cell, the score is 7 minus 9, it's C2 minus C1. And you can start at any cell and make at least one move. So the problem says you can start at any cell of your choice. So you can start from here or let's say from here and you can move at least once and find us the maximum score that you can achieve. So let's say uh, in this particular grid, I start from this particular cell and make two moves. The moves are I firstly jump from this cell, so let's say this particular cell. Since this is at the bottom of the current cell, so I can make this move. The score will be C2, which is 7, minus C1, which is 5. Let's make another move. From Now we are at this particular cell. So from this cell, I can move to this particular cell, which is, which is to the right of the current cell. So this is also a possible move, and the score will be C2 minus C1, that is 14 minus 7. So we get a score of 2 plus 7 which is 9. So this is the maximum score that you can achieve in this particular grid. Now you can try some other combinations but this is the maximum score. Similarly, this is one more sample test given in the problem statement. In this case, the maximum score, let's say I start from this particular cell and I move to this particular cell which is to the right of it. So the score is nothing but C2 minus C1 so it is 2 minus 3. So we get as value as minus 1. This is the maximum score that we can achieve in this particular grid. You can try other possible combinations as well. So this was the problem and the constraints are that M and N can be up to 1000. So pause the video here if you want to think of a solution by yourself or let's okay. move ahead. So there are two observations in this problem. The first observation is moving from cell X to any non-adjacent cell towards the right is same as moving over all the adjacent cells. That means if I am at a particular cell and I directly jump to a cell towards the right, it's same as going over all the adjacent cells till we reach that cell towards the right. For example, here we will compare. First of all, we will directly jump from x1 to x3 and then we will jump over all the adjacent cells to reach x3 and we will see what is the what is the cost of in both the cases. So in the first case, we directly jump from the first cell to the last cell. So what is the cost? It is simply x3 minus x1. So x3 minus x1. Second case, now let's say we move over all the adjacent cells till we reach the last cell. So the first jump is x1 to x2 and the second jump is x2 to x3. So in the first jump, the cost is x2 minus x1, which we have written it here. The second jump, the cost is x3 minus x2, we have written it here. Now if you look closely, plus x2 and minus x2 get cancelled. So we are left with x3 minus x1. So we have x3 minus x1 as the overall cost to jump from x1 to x3. So now both the values are actually same. That means jumping from a particular cell to a cell towards the right is same as moving over all the adjacent cells. The cost remains the same. So this is a very important okay. observation. So for observation 2, I have a 2 cross 2 grid which has 4 values. So A1, A2, B1, B2. From A1 we can go to A2 or we can go to the bottom which is B1. From A2 we can just go to the bottom because there is no cells to the right. From B1 we can just go to the right which is B2 and there is no cell to the bottom. Okay. Now let's see, can I solve for B2, like what is the cost of reaching here? So if I know the cost of this particular sub matrix, so if I know the optimal cost of reaching here and let's say I also know the optimal cost for this particular sub matrix. So if I solve for these two sub matrix, can I get the optimal cost to reach here? Yes, the answer is yes. That means 
if i have sub problems i do have sub problems in this particular problem and if i combine those two sub problems i can get the answer to the larger sub problem which is the entire grid so that means this has both sub problems as, as well as optimal substructure so that means we can apply dynamic programming so next we will see how we can formulate the dp states okay so dp of ij is nothing but it will store the maximum score to reach a particular cell i comma j so let's say this is my grid of a1 a2 and b1 b2 and i want to compute for this particular cell so for this particular cell dp will store nothing but what is the maximum score that i can get if i reach this cell okay so now let's think how can i reach this cell so this cell can only be reached from the top or from the left okay so let's go case by case there are two cases case one is either reach from the top or reach from the left okay so now when i come from the top either i take the optimal sub path overall here and then i jump from this side to this side okay so this means this means either i take the optimal path to reach here and then i jump from this to this so what is the maximum score to reach this cell in this overall sub matrix it's already stored in dp of i minus 1 j this is ij what will this be this is this this node will be i minus 1 comma j and as we said dp array already stores what is the max score to reach particular cell so that means the maximum score for this entire sub matrix will already be stored in dp of i minus 1 j okay plus what is the cost of jumping from this to this it's nothing but b2 minus a2 okay so now for this entire sub matrix i know what is the best possible way to reach this particular cell but what if i do not take the optimal sub path in that case what will be the optimal answer it will just be b2 minus a2 i just i just start from this particular cell and i jump to this cell so that is the those are two options here if i come from the top similarly let's say i come from the left in this case again either i take the optimal path or i don't take the optimal path so if i take the optimal path what will be the answer again so this is my sub matrix now and what is the answer it is if this is ij this this node will be nothing but i comma j minus 1 So DP of I comma J minus one will already store the best possible way to reach this particular node. Okay. So what is the optimal path? Of what is the score if I take optimal path? So it's nothing but DP of I comma J minus one plus what is the cost of jumping from this to this? It's nothing but B two minus B one. So it's B two minus B one. So this is the score if I take the optimal path. If I don't take the optimal path. Then it means that I just started from this cell and I just reached this cell. So it's nothing but B two minus B one. That's it. And the base case is for for this particular cell, we can just assign that it's not possible to reach here because it's already been the problem statement that we have to make at least one move. So initially we start with zero and then we assign all the DP states. So at every stage you save the maximum of all these four possible values in DP of IJ. So DP of IJ is nothing but maximum. Amount. If I come from the top, what is the optimal path? What is the score if I take the optimal path? What is the score if I don't take the optimal path? If I come from left, what is the score if I take the optimal path? If I don't take the optimal path, so the maximum all four possible values will be saved in DP of IJ. So now you know the best the maximum score to, for reaching every cell I comma J. So you can just iterate over this particular DP array, and the maximum among all possible values will give you the answer. Overall, so that's the pro that's the solution to this problem. Since we simply iterate over the entire DP array, uh, so the time complexity will be nothing but O of m cross n because we are just iterating over each of these values and we are just comput computing the maximum all these four values, which is nothing but O of one. So overall, uh, the time complexity is nothing but m cross n, and the space complexity is nothing but again m cross n. Because we create a DP array of size m cross n and we store the all the possible values in each particular cell. So yeah, that's the time and space complexity. Uh, I have linked the uh, entire solution in the comments. Let me know if you have any doubts. Uh, feel free to like, uh, comment, and subscribe uh, if you learned something today. Thank you.